So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a fast formula case for accrual app accrual absence matrix formula. So let's move ahead and see our requirements. Okay, so our requirement is like the if the uh, organization has an accrual plan for vacation where and worker accrue a set number of days every year depending on the grade level that they are in. If the worker change grade within a year, then the accrual needs to be prorated or distributed depending on the days spent in each grade. Also, the total accrual uh, value needs to be prorated by FTE. Uh, which is full time equivalent and rounded to two decimal places. So let's uh, see what are the inputs we are going to use. So we are going to use the calendar start date, which will be the start date of accrual calendar. Uh, calendar end date, which will be uh, end date of accrual calendar date. And uh, event date, which is going to be uh, which is going to be an array of dates written by the accrual event formula. And uh, lastly, we are going to use accrual uh, values, which will be accrual array of accrual values fetched from the accrual matrix of the dates contained in the accrual dates event. <coughs> and uh, this is the DBI, which is per uh, sorry, actually it uh, got misprinted over here. It should. It is a DBI, which is per assignment FTE value, which is for assignment FTE value. So this is the full time equivalent value uh, we are going to use. Let's move ahead and see what are what is the uh, formula we are going to write. So let me scroll a little up. So this is the uh, formula. Uh, as discussed, we are going to see uh, take these inputs. Let's come over here. So it is start calendar start date, calendar calendar end date, event date, accrual value, and uh, uh, and the accrual we are going to take. <clears throat> so and uh, per assignment uh, FTE value we are going to do take. So here we are going to take. Uh, two inputs, which is uh, sorry, two variables, which we are going to initiate with one and two, uh, which is uh, I and G variable. And uh, we are also going to take total ac accurate um, uh, variable and we are going to initiate it with uh, zero. Uh, then we are going to use a while loop for the array, which is event date, IV event date. And we are going to check if at the second position, uh, uh, if a value is existing, then we are going to loop over it. And uh, uh, when uh, we are going to take, calculate the total accru accrual, so the formula which we are uh, uh, going to use is days between event one, uh, sorry, event two and event one. So let's say. Uh, anything happens today and uh, uh, something uh, happened in some event occurred in uh, let's say first March. So the days it will count uh, in between those and it will in, in, uh, increase it with one. And then we are going to use uh, accrual value for the first position. Uh, let's say accrual value is uh, something like two. So we are going to multiply it with that. And uh, <clears throat> so the final value, uh, let's say the days which uh, came was eight plus one is nine. Nine into two was 18. So uh, this value will get incremented by eight. Let me write it over here. So this value will become 18 and the uh, I and J will be increased with one. So this is the formula for uh, getting the total accrual. Uh, 
so if in uh, in time term duration so we are going to find the uh, uh, like how many days uh, uh, term uh, like uh, for the first period uh, like first promotion period how how long it was so uh, we'll find it here and then we are going to calculate the accrual which is the um, per uh, per assignment fte values we are going to uh, fetch that and uh, the total accrual uh, the total accrual we are uh, going to take and divided by the term so let's say if the total accrual is 18 and uh, the term is uh, uh, let's say something 100 days so it will calculate and uh, it will get multiplied with the uh, Full, uh, full time equivalent and uh, there will be some uh, 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 decimal places or uh, some values will be there. So we are going to round it to the second uh, uh, decimal values and we are going to return the accrual. So the and uh, in this formula. This uh, this uh, we can uh, return accrual also so let's move to our instance and uh, let's see how we can attach this formula first we are going to copy the formula so let me click on go to home and then my client group show more I'll search for fast formula. Here it is fast formula. I'll click on that. I'll click on add button. And the name which I'm going to do is take as ES accrual. At matrix. And the type for this is going to be global absence uh, accrual matrix. The date I'm going to take is 1101. Let me change the uh, legislative data group as US and I'll click on continue. Let me copy the formula. Let me remove this, these values. Uh, okay, let me copy this formula. And I'll paste it over here. See, submit the formula and let's compile the formula. Okay. Now we we need to attach the formula. So we'll we'll come to my client group absence, and if you scroll a little bit down, we'll see the absence plan. So I'll click on absence plan. Uh, there is a plan which I have created. It says fusion and legislative as US. So I'll click on fusion zero two and uh, i'll click on accrual tab if you scroll down okay so this is uh, the expression let me delete this I'll, I'll create new one so i'm sequence i'm going to give as one uh, 15 sorry and here we are going to use a or uh, take a formula which is as accrual matrix and I'll take the accrual rate as uh, five. And we need to provide our expression so that it it will not throw an error. So one is equal to one. And we'll click on OK. OK. 
Okay, I I forgot to change the. Uh, I forgot to change the effective date. One one zero. Uh, sorry, one one two one. Then again, accrual stamp. I'll click on create sequence is fifteen. Let's first build the expression, which is one is equal to one. I'll click on OK. Accrual rate is five. Accrual formula. We're going to attach our formula which we created, which says AS accrual matrix. So I'll choose that. Let me save. And we'll click on save and close. Let's attach this formula. So we are going to run a process to attach this formula to all the employees. So we are going to click on schedule and uh, monitor absence processes. Here you can see update accrual plan enrollment. So I'll select this and here uh, you can see a button which says uh, run. So I'll click on that. I'll choose the effective date as one. 21 and in the population filter here you can see absence plan so we are here we are going to choose our absence uh, plan which is fusion 02 fusion 02 let me click click on search so i click on ok and we are going to submit the process Uh, here you can see update accrual plan enrollments. The status is wait. Let's just refresh. We refresh it again till it gets succeeded. Okay. Okay, once process has been succeeded, let's wait. Okay, so the process has been completed. So let's come back and uh, we'll click on this absence record. I click on absence record and let's search for a person which is person number 100. Uh, Brian line manager. If you scroll little down, you can see our uh, formula has been. Oh, sorry, our plan has been uh, atta attached in the pa plan participation, and uh, the person is getting four days balance also. So that's all for this video, and uh, let's uh, meet in our next video with uh, with some other cases. Thank you.